You're listening to Rod and Style Radio, the latest podcast brought to you by RodandStyle.com, which is where you can find links for merch, videos from our YouTube channel, along with stories and tech talk from some of the greatest folks in the culture. So grab the wheel, it's about to get wild. You've tuned in to Rod and Style. It's not showing anything. It's hidden <laughs> behind the computer screen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's horrible. But it is it's fun. It's fun it's, things. Podcast <laughs> is fun. <laughs> I thought my dog was in here farting, but it was not the dog. <laughs> it was me. It was me making He's just noises. in there. The dog's just in there, but you're just blaming him for everything. No, no. No way. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> I'll get kicked out. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I mean, that's what happens in our house. I mean, I let them rip in the bedroom, and she's kicking the cat out of the bed. <laughs> that's right. Oh, and um, Diana sends her regrets. I know she was on last year when we did this, but she's in uh, Nashville for a work thing that's uh, that's pretty fun. So. Her venue is uh, is host Americana Fest is this weekend in oh, Nashville, okay. and uh, her her venue and the Texas Music Office co host uh, an all day Texas music showcase. Oh, so, that sounds uh, that's awesome! Yeah, she got there today and they're setting it up, and then they bring a bunch of Texas bands in and do all Texas artists for like ten hours. Nice. Yeah, that sounds so. absolutely amazing. We'll we'll catch up with her at the at the car show, so that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's totally fine. Uh, folks, welcome to Rod and Style Radio. And your favorite couple is uh, hosting Them Car Club right now because we're going to talk about the invasion coming up this weekend. At least when this episode goes out, it'll be this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no yes. attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> invasion so. 14. 14. Dave, yeah. Rusty, welcome to the show. Sam, welcome as always. Hi. I have to welcome my wife because like, she hasn't been on some shows. Me? I was like, wait, wait a minute, what? <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as most of our listeners know, that we've been extremely busy lately and we haven't been putting out of as many episodes as we would like for Rod and Style. So, uh, let the cat out of the bag. I'm we, just tired. We, we, That's we're extremely That's exhausted. Cat out of the bag. I'm just tired. <laughs> now, we've been moving into a new house and it's oh, been man. a yeah. wild moving ride. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah. we sold a house in a week and bought a house in a week. I'm beyond oh, exhausted. Wow. Yeah. So what, you don't have time to work in recording shows every week, too? Come on. Mm-mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, extreme glutton for punishment. We didn't realize how tough that was until it happened. I was like, oh, shit. We haven't done anything we're supposed to do. And then today, for today's episode, like tomorrow we get Wi Fi in the new house. So this one gets cut off. And I was like, oh, my God, we have to plan this just right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pain in the ass. But, but. we're excited. So, yeah, uh, we'll start telling people this is uh, Rod and Style Radio coming from the Custom Couple Lounge. Yeah. But this episode won't be that just yet. This is like a day short of being in the actual lounge. <laughs> Instead, we get the crooked hubcaps that I hung. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the old office with the crooked hubcaps. And, that nobody yeah. ever let me live down. <laughs> I can see them in the mirror. Yeah, we can see them in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be great. My hair oh, right here. Your head. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll be great when we when we move into the new space and she has a whole new room to put crooked things in. Wow, <laughs> thanks. You're so nice. Hey, you got to stick with it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do it on purpose at this point. Uh huh. Everything. <laughs> right, it, it becomes a. Uh, wrong with that. It's your problem. Wow, guys! Wow, it's <laughs> so loved right now. That's, that's how this is going so far. Right? <laughs> so, people come in and say your picture's crooked. Now you're standing funny. Yeah, 
Yep. Aim it on the enemy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make, <laughs> that make that part of the floor is on level. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yep. Oh, so, welcome to the train wreck. We started right. early. That's fine. Yeah. No, we started extremely early. Oh, oh I mean... We didn't start early. <laughs> no, we didn't. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. But Invasion. We're getting number 14, which is exciting because last year we didn't know if y'all were going to do it again. I kept my fingers crossed. We say that every year. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps right. people coming back. That's the new motto every yeah. year. And, and we mean it every year, like especially right after the show. It's like, yeah. man, this is... This is a lot of damn work. And uh, it's like, I just, you know what? We Leading up to it, we're like, man, are we, are we going to keep doing this? Like, let's just, let's go out with a bang and do a good one this year. And then, then that one ends and we still feel that way. And then a couple months later, when it's time to start making contacts again, we'll meet for a club lunch. And it's like, let's, let's do another one. <laughs> yeah, let's do and one more. We'll do this one. We'll do one, one more. One more. We'll do one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> And then by the time a week before the invasion, just like you're sitting there punching yourself. Yeah, why did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> and the funny, the crazy thing is, it, it it's it's fun putting the show on. Like it's cool seeing all the people in the cars and all that. Um, leading the, up to that, l- leading up to it, and then the added layer that we have of it being on uh, downtown streets in the city of Dallas. We have to deal with the city of Dallas for permitting and and all kinds of other administrative red tape. Um, like where the I love the shows that are on fairgrounds and stuff like that, and and it's a, they have their own challenges. But um, submitting any kind of application to the city of Dallas, it can be a an interesting experience to say the least. <laughs> oh, I can yeah. yeah, I can imagine. Uh, we just did a car show a couple months ago that uh, was up in Kentucky. That was very similar to uh the layout of how y'all do yours there in louisville they do um beatersville Mm -hmm. very similar downtown uh it's like a warehouse district so like it's just they close off a bunch of streets and it's like you know the first come first serve and that's you know that's going to be the the basis of the entire day so us being from out of town and in a daily driver of course we couldn't park in the show so we had to find somewhere in the surrounding areas Mm -hmm. to try to park and uh fortunately it was very easy to do so but uh you know i I can imagine the 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 permitting uh issue that y'all go through every year with dallas to do that i mean you're Deep changes. Ellum is a very uh, busy yeah, it, part uh, of Dallas, I, I too. Most of the permitting, it changes every year, every single year. They all do a new – It's a, this year it's a new website uh, or it's a new process to submit the same thing, the exact same thing I've been putting in for the last 13 years. <laughs> oh, now we have a new process. You have to go – instead of this way, you're going to submit it this way. Same thing, no changes. We went to, oh, well, uh, and I, I call our my events person at the city, and they're like, yeah, we don't take phone calls anymore from now on. It's all email. <laughs> oh, my God. We also don't respond to emails, so, we, uh, yeah. Exactly. We, we only respond by mail to this one P.O. box, but we don't pick it up. <laughs> Nobody yeah, they, should, they send a horse around. <laughs> There's not <laughs> even a key. <laughs> <laughs> an old guy in a retired cop car and then like just crazy crazy shit like we uh we have to bag all the parking meters on elm street that day <laughs> so you have to deal with the parking office and it's a this form that you have to download a form and fill it out and then you can email it to them or bring it to them <laughs> and they review it then they tell you when it's ready to be paid and they send an invoice you can't pay the invoice online you have to drive down to the parking office and pay there so this year, for example, I went down there to do that. So I was like, I need to pay for this. So paid for it. And they're like, and then, uh, and I was on the way home and they called and they said, oh, by the way, you, you didn't order the uh, the notification signs that, that the street's going to be closed. I was like, I, I didn't know anything about that. They're like, yeah, you got to come back and do that. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll come right back. Because luckily I live kind of close to the office. Mm-hmm. So I turned around and went back. And then uh, they said, yeah, you got to fill out this form to request the signs. I was like, okay, cool. Here you go. She's like, all right. We'll call you when when you can come get the signs. We have to send the form upstairs. I was like, how long is that going to take? Like, probably Monday. This was like on a Wednesday or a Thursday. So then I left, and before I got home, I got a phone call, and, and the person said, hey, your uh, your signs are ready. <laughs> so, 
turned around again <laughs> and went back to get them. And I was like, hey, I just got a phone call that my signs are ready. And the person at the counter is like, I, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and then, then they had to find the person that called me to get the sign. And that, that's just one little, that's like 1% <laughs> of the shit we have to do for the show. <laughs> Wow. So if we look if we look a little haggard or if someone asks a dumb question on Saturday morning, then uh, <laughs> we rip their throat out. Yeah, <laughs> was, just, <laughs> it in, just killing people as they ask dumb questions. <laughs> There's a line. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> three punches in the mouth. Step That's right, right up. <laughs> it sounds I'll like y'all just bought a house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Every year, every, year, every, every fall, year. we buy a fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> Three blocks of Deep Ellum House. Yep. Oh I'm asleep God. there. For real. Like, it, and I've been, you know, joking a lot lately be, uh, about the whole buying a house process because Sam and I have gone through this. And, you know, it, bureaucracy is a wonderful thing, obviously. Uh, it, and I can imagine y'all putting on this car show, you're dealing with some of the weirdest shit ever. And that, that's just a, a small example of the crap that you have to deal with when it comes to trying to do things legitly right yeah but it's cool when it comes together though i, I love the scene yeah. down there you know yeah. just being in the, the entertainment district and all that so it, it it's worth the headaches for sure but there are definitely headaches to be had we keep doing it yeah <laughs> anyway, and, the ones that are stupid i don't yeah. know <laughs> a home base home base is still trees trees yep. correct Awesome. Awesome. Who's the uh, the entertainment? I think your entertainment's coming up from the South Texas area this year. Yeah, we, we, we got a good a good show set up this year. We got uh, Two Tons of Steel is headlining the show. Um, and then we've got uh, 40 Acre Mule is mm -hmm. main support. Fantastic band. Man, it, if you haven't seen those guys, they, they put on an amazing, amazing show. And then uh, and then we've got uh, Ottoman Turks uh, opening the show. Very they've cool. Been, they've been getting a lot of buzz lately too. So that, I think this is going to be one of the one of the better after parties we've had in a minute. I'm I'm pretty stoked about it. Well, we we thoroughly enjoyed last year's as well. Big Sandy was a wonderful thing to have yeah. as a as an after party. But Two Tons of Steel will not disappoint. I not promise never. you that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we we've enjoyed them several times down here because they're from down here. So yeah, you yep. will not be disappointed by two tons of steel. Um, so y'all y'all have two cars coming to the show, yeah? I do. He does not. <laughs> oh, so, wait, oh. which one's coming? Fifty nine Buick is coming. Yes, the Buick is coming. Okay. The the Mercury is not. The house took priority. Yeah. Uh, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the house matches my car, so I mean, when it was like, pick which one, sorry, but the Buick's going to win every yeah, time. Yeah, 100%. I already knew this. The good husband that I am. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the Buick will be coming, so we'll be taking off early as fuck in the morning to not deal with the heat, but oh, man. we're just, we're just oh. hoping for the best. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, shout out to our friends, the Disciples. We'll be uh, driving up with yeah. them mm -hmm. uh, uh, the morning of the show. So we're going to have a good uh, good amount of uh, video footage that we're going to grab from that. So we'll be able to promote for y'all as well when we get, when we do all of that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're totally stoked about the trip up. We got and, the new crown and sash in the back for yeah. the next Miss Invasion. Uh, excellent. Right. Yep. See it. That's so awesome. Sounds like y'all get to actually see it because I've had it here. But yes, I will be <laughs> passing my crown, which I've held on for a year now. I've told everybody, I'm like, yeah, I won that. What's up? But yeah, yeah I'm excited. Stormy's going to come back and MC, And then Alexis from Atomic Prom is going to be helping out. And then I'll be helping out. So it'll yep. be fun. Uh, Dallas Pinup too, right? Dallas Pinup. Yes. Yeah. So and that'll Reno's be chop shop bar and grill. Oh, um, Reno's. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. They, they provide a cash prize. Yep. Ding. They sponsor the cash prize. Nice. Some. It's going to be a wild day for sure. No cash. <laughs> it's it's going to be crazy. It's about 13 to 16 girls. Yeah. I, I saw that. It's going to be a, a, yeah. quite a few contestants this year mm -hmm. for the pinup contest. We have some returning ones, just because I saw the names on there. But we have some returning ones, and then we have some new ones. So that's exciting. I'm excited. I get to help get the girls down the stairs and hopefully not let them trip, because I almost did last year. <laughs> Don't let them fight in the green room. 
Yep. I'll, I'll be the one fighting them if they start. <laughs> it, it's happened. I've, I've gotten called up to the middle of running around and get called up because girls are cat fighting up there. I got to go up there and physically pull pin up chicks away from each other. Oh, it's fine. He knows I get rowdy, so they don't got a chance if they try and pull some shit. <laughs> so on behalf of the custom couple. You have and- security. <laughs> Rod and style radio. <laughs> yeah, if there's cat fights, uh, we won't break them up, but we will videotape these. It'll be, 100%. In, the, it'll be in the blooper reel. <laughs> the blooper reel. Yeah, if there's going to be any fighting, it's not going to be upstairs. We need that shit on the stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fight on stage, save your energy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Everybody was really upset last year that my trophy wasn't that heavy, and I was so fucking happy. I was like, yes. I was yeah. happy. What do you mean you were happy? I didn't make last year's. That's what's wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> so uh, just a sh- like oh, a, a heads up for this year. Did, did you make this year's trophy yet? I did not make this year's either. But I had some direction in it. So it's. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be hefty. It's <laughs> going to be hefty. I, I mean, that's good advice. If you're going to be in the pinup contest this year and you have an inkling that you might even win. You might want to bring a dolly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, start doing some curls now. Yeah, it's oh just a pinstri- it's just a hundred pound uh, cast iron weight plate uh, pinstripe. <laughs> oh uh, shit! Uh, 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 yes. Oh my god! And then, we just, and then we just grease it up real good right before. Right before. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah. oh my god! I was I was able to find a manhole cover. <laughs> no, you were not. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we wouldn't do that. Probably. Yeah, we would. That yeah, would be next I, year. I would, and I would do well more crap to it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll have to petition the city of, or uh, Deep Ellum to see if we can get a manhole cover that says Deep Ellum on we it. We get a donation. Yeah. You get a donation every year of one. Oh, exactly. that would be great. <laughs> the base always has to be a manhole cover. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! And we then, just, do y'all have any returning vendors from last year that are coming back? We we've got a few. We've got quite a few. As, as always, we have a uh, uh, cheap thrills and anchor screen printing. Um, they do all of our all of our merch for us. Um, so they're they're the big one every year. And then uh, we've got several returning ones. Uh, off the top of my head, Jack Jack Fleming Art. He's a fantastic pinstriper and artist. Um, Cherry Bomb Pinstriping is going to be there. She she wasn't able to come last year, but uh, but she came a few years ago, so she'll be back. Um, one of the big new ones this year is uh, Texas Made Supply Company. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen their stuff, but it's really really cool. If you look them up on Instagram, Texas Made Supply Co. I think it is. Um, all, it's all just Texas themed, you know, shirts and hats, stuff. and it's really cool shit. Like it's like subcultural Texas stuff. Okay. And, uh, I've, I've been trying to get them for a couple of years and they've always had conflicts. So they were able to do it this time. And then uh, several of our sponsors uh, have vendor spaces this year. Mm-hmm. So uh, Martin's rods. Martin, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, um, sweet. He's got a set up. Uh, Riggs great. fabrication. Uh, yeah. and I'm going to forget some. I feel bad about that. Cause we've got a bunch, but, um, oh. but it's going to be a good mix this year. We've got uh, several artists. Um, I wish I could remember his name. I'm I'm not as prepared, but uh, there's a, a licensed rat fink artist. I, I uh, K H Designs, I think, is what it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, Very cool. He, he's licensed by um, by the family to to produce rat fink um, paintings. So he'll be there. So some artists, and then we have one really cool one, another really cool one this year. Um, we're, we partnered with a charity this year, oh. which we, we haven't done before. So we we became legit since the last show we're we're a 501c7 organization now so a, a non-profit yeah and, uh and we have uh there's an organization here in dallas called hope on wheels and uh, it's hope on and it's this this one guy started it and he works a full-time job and then uh at night he takes donated cars and repairs them and gets them ready and then just gives them away to people in need Oh wow! And, and this guy works like fifty hours a week in a in a warehouse type job, and then and then works on cars on his own time, and then and completely donates his time, and then different places donate um, uh, parts and money and stuff like that, and then he fixes he he I forget how many cars he turns around every year, but um, the, you know find people apply and then he, they 
they pick the person they think needs that one and and then they just freely donate cars every single year that's so, so he's gonna cool. have a booth set up so people can find out you know how they do what they do and how they raise money and stuff like that so we're, we're pretty stoked about that too oh wow that's amazing that yeah that is really cool be able to provide cars like that to people in need and and for y'all to be you know involving you know a charity into what y'all do every year is really cool too i tried the nonprofit route several years ago and it is uh you know a lot of paperwork but when you find people that you really you know, like feel for that you know it really can benefit from it it's absolutely worth it so that's really cool that y'all have done that this year i'm i'm excited for this year's car show definitely yeah i was like what you're just was, staring was, at me like what? i was waiting for sam to tell us who this uh this week's sponsor was oh well why couldn't you just say that <laughs> Because you know I always like to keep you on your toes. No, you're just being a wonderful person. <laughs> producing on the air, producing on the air. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? No, in the last several episodes, I've done that to her. I'll like look at her and be like, so. He's like, and we complete. she doesn't like no, take the no, cue at all. No, because you're like, we complete each other's. I'm like, I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Anyway, um... I, now you made me fucking forget. Right? It's Messenger. No, I mean, yeah, it is. Okay, fine. This episode is brought to you by Messenger Custom Paint. There you go, sir. No, I was going to ask, how many cars are y'all expecting this year? Because last year, I couldn't get through all of them, but they were some amazing ones. All of them. You're all expecting of them. all of them. All I of get them. it. All of them all again. Of them. <laughs> right. I mean, probably more. Oh, God. So it's a word spread that it's not as hot. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're already looking at forecast that says, I think it says 89 degrees so oh, far. Oh, that's I mean, you know, so nice. It's a few days away, but man, if there's if eight's the first number, it's, it's been a while. Because yeah. even last year, we did it all the way at the end of October, and then all of a sudden that day, it was like 95 degrees. Yeah, it was still hot as shit out there. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go it, hide a billion times because I was getting sunburned. It was nice in the morning when it rained, and then got really super humid. Yep. Uh, no, what's the what's the furthest y'all have got somebody driving from? I mean, we're coming from four hours, but I'm sure somebody's coming from you a know, lot further. Came from England every year. England, yeah, yeah. he hasn't been since COVID. The first part of the trip's really dangerous too in a car. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dave with his jokes, <laughs> I love it. He's never made it real far. He just gets like right off the coast. But yeah, he's trying to. <laughs> Oh, I got to remember that tires, one, Dave. I got to yeah. remember that one. The flotation just, device. He just drives into the Black Sea every September. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the guys from the Hooligans had a uh, one of those aqua cars. What are they called? Uh, yeah. Um, what are they called? I forget what they're called. They're cool. They're little boats. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, we've yeah, got this that's year. what it is. I, you know, that's you, what it is. I, I was looking at the registrations this afternoon, and we've got a couple cars from Kansas, uh, Missouri, of course, Oklahoma, Louisiana. Um, we used to have a guy, a couple of guys that came out from Alabama. Yeah. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. We've got two coming from Arkansas. Yeah. And I think I saw one from Arizona, which would be a first a um, that from, I remember. We've had a few from California in the past. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You know, when I get into conversations with a lot of people, they, you know, with having the podcast, we often have people that will text us or message us on social media or you know just want to you know bs about cars and and i'm one of those people that i answer everything and i'll sit there and become friends with people in a, in a matter of minutes just through some text messages through instagram or facebook or whatever i always have people that are like I've always wanted to make it out to a car show in Texas, and I always want to go to Lone Star Roundup. And, we always recommend Invasion. Hundred <laughs> percent. We always tell people go to Invasion. It's my favorite. One. Oh, yeah, man, it's awesome. it's our yeah. favorite show. Mm -hmm. Roundup is Roundup. It's always going to be a cool Duh, show. We have Ken from Bad Ideas who's coming to Invasion. Yeah, one of our sponsors from Montana yeah, is going to come down and hang out with wow. us. Wow, that's at, cool. Very uh, cool. He's also a sponsor of Brian's podcast as well, Hometown Hot Rodder. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, he's going to come down from Montana and hang out with us for the weekend at, you know, in Dallas. Mm-hmm. So coming down for invasion. Yeah. So. Just oh, oh yeah, we will. He's he's really funny. We love Absolutely. Him. Y'all awesome. y'all like the dude. I think he's got like what 42 cars in his Yeah. Uh yeah, his collection right now, he's got 42 cars. Two of them hang from the ceiling. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Yeah, his his shop is like a, a grain silo, and he hangs a few of his hot rods from the ceiling of the grain silo. Yeah, that's awesome. That's kind of cool. I have two cars <laughs> hanging on the wall in my shop. Yeah, it's super wild. Uh, so, yeah, Ken's coming down, going to hang out with us. Ken, uh, shout out. We know how much you love pink drinks. Yep. Uh, so I'll buy you some pink drinks at Trees, and you'll love it. <laughs> Oh, God. Get messed up on salty dogs in a heartbeat. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. No. 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 No, of course not. We're going to be clean and sober the entire day. We will not be. I already know that. (laughs) We will not be. I will be. Yeah. Yeah. Rusty will be. We know that for a fact. Yeah. But. The stupid name on the permit. It's me. (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah! So you have to be you have to be that guy. You have to be responsible. You're the responsible. Oh, that, that reminded adult. me of one of the one of the new rules this year the city put on us. We have to um, provide uh, exactly twenty three trash cans spread out evenly around the show. Yeah, and it, it I can see requiring trash cans, but it just seemed funny to me that they decided twenty three was the right number. <laughs> 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 Especially since fucking Uline sells them in batches of 10. So, <laughs> so we had, like, I think they just did that to mess with us. I'm pretty sure they did. So 30. 30 so if you need number. to throw anything away, if you're at the show and you need to throw anything away, you probably won't have to walk more than about five steps to do it. So that would be <laughs> Yeah, in any direction you go. Speaking of rules, uh, of course, let's uh, let all of our listeners know about what kind of cars they will be uh, expecting to see at Invasion this year. Uh, 64 and older. Got to explain that to people. 64 and older. So, yeah. That, uh, no, let's see. Well, quick rundown. No exposed late model engines. You're not going to see any LSs popping out of hoods because we're a little more traditional than that. No oversized wheels. Um, no late model suspension on open wheel cars. So you won't see any S10 frames underneath uh, whatever. Somebody's half make thing. <laughs> um, yeah. No burners. Burnouts will get your ass whipped. How about that? Not just kicked out. Whips. No, no, no. Whips. That, that's the only, I think that's the only rule we have where where two things will happen to you if you yeah. do that. <laughs> you do another my show, you're going to lose your car and your life. <laughs> <laughs> like this. I like this. Yeah. You come on the that's Custom bad. Couples podcast, you will be threatened. I like this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And then, and then, you know, work in progress cars, we love to see, um, and very intentionally over the top rat rods. We don't, we don't let in, yeah. um, that, that's a cool scene for some people, but you know, there's a, there's that line between work in progress or, or just a patinaed car versus like the over the top, no saw blades, rat, rat, no saw exactly. blades. Or if you have a hundred rubber rats hanging off the front of your car, right. Hey, if that makes you happy, that's cool. But you can, you can park on the next street over for, for our show. Right. But, yeah, that's exactly. Right. If it's not painted, it's that's one thing. But if you went and welded a saw blade to your door and yeah. thought that was adding fins to your car, uh, it's probably not going to show up at this show. Welded chain is a front axle. <laughs> or a right? <laughs> a giant-ass motorcycle chain. If your car looks like it has braces on it, don't bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Barbed wire everywhere. <laughs> You know, oh any uh, yeah. only if you had the tattoos. Oh yeah, barbed wire tattoos. Somebody got tattooed in the early nineties. <laughs> I'm talking smack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have one right there. Oh. Yeah, right there. That's all right. I will, I will tell you. I got. That I got it too. I got it too. I got I got it too. 1990. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't call it, folks. I didn't call it at all. 
Rusty's just <laughs> mad that I did, though. Hey, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Any uh, motorcycles this year? We've seen a we've seen a couple pre registered, yeah. Um, so we usually get a couple. A couple, uh, yeah. Wish we wish we had more. I w- I would love to see love to see some of the more traditional. The, yeah, power. there's traditional bikes out there. Um, but the one that seen. I wish I could remember what the one that was coming, but it was it's a '56. You're talking about the Lou's. Uh, yeah, that's a Vincent. A, yeah, a, 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 a black, black shadow. Black shadow. Yeah, Vincent black shadow. Wow. Yeah. It is Very awesome. cool. So if, if she ends up being the only bike there, it, it's a pretty fucking cool bike. <laughs> it is a cool bike. You yeah. Just don't, that's something you don't see. No, you do not see those. And if it wasn't for uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, I wouldn't even know what they were. Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man, that is really cool. So I, I'll be stoked to see that. Um shit is there any of your uh any of your sponsors you'd like to give some shout outs to before we wrap it up as a podcast oh let's see let's do this uh trees definitely trees without uh clint lewis letting us use his headquarters we couldn't do this yep there he keeps us home base there on elm street so we couldn't do that we couldn't do it without that several of the bars in the neighborhood uh the green room um reno like, like i said reno's um keystone tape keystone tape yeah uh chuck of keystone tape helps us out um, um uh, chuck's been Carl, a super big supporter of everything we do as well yeah, i always Carl, see his name pop up on our stuff such a super super nice guy too he is such a nice guy i'm not ignoring I'm you i'm pull, i'm pulling up uh squared <laughs> so i can look at the sponsor invoices because i don't want to forget anybody martin's, uh, yeah martin's rods martin's rods uh j riggs Riggs yep. fabrication, Riggs fabrication. Riggs fab, yeah. yeah he's a big he's been a huge supporter of the invasion uh phoenix insurance phoenix is back insurance. they they've been oh, nice. very, very supportive of us for years yeah justin so justin awesome. will have that 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 like cool little metro yeah the milk truck he's got um off, it's hard to think of off the top of your head yeah that that's that's all, the that's the big ones oliver peck like he said with cheap thrills and elm street tattoo they're a huge supporter of us, and they do a lot for us. Yep, on the outside that nobody sees. Yeah, they're, they're another one where b- behind the scenes it would be hard to to put the show on if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Oliver and yeah. uh, and Cheap Thrills and Anchor Screen Printing for sure. They they do an awful lot for us. They do. They sure do. All the bars very supportive of us. They want us to. They want to have. They want us to be there. So they open up early. They contribute. They pitch in however they can yep so, absolutely yeah. that's awesome I'm sam do you want to give the uh you know the plug for where everybody can find all of this wonderful shit oh well first the <laughs> show so everybody can know because i know i forget a lot i have horrible memory uh september 24th is the invasion show it's going to be in deep ellum you can go to their website which i hope i remember off the top of my head i think isn't it them car club dot com no that's horribly wrong there's that's something a, i was like car show dot com say it again invasioncarshow.com yay there we go awesome so y'all can find it <laughs> saturday september the 24th see you on saturday 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 love it <laughs> absolutely try, love try to mix that audio tonight <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason! Jason will love this audio oh, when gonna, when we give our producer. That has to be the opener. No, that has to be the opener right there. Of that's how it starts with the show. <laughs> We'd like to thank everybody for coming out. <laughs> yes. Get out those green bags for those tea bags. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not that I'll be wearing a tea bag <laughs> in public view. Yep. In 1993, Rusty was definitely out at all of the Bigfoot monster truck shows. <laughs> well, maybe. I, I used to live down. The, I used to live down the street from Grave Digger, where I grew up in Virginia. Oh, oh my god, that's awesome! I, I knew him when he was just driving that thing around in the woods for the hell of it. <laughs> 
when the graves were only five feet deep. Right. <laughs> he wasn't digging them then. He was just driving over them. Yep. yep. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All right, folks. Uh, guys, thanks for being on the show. We always appreciate hanging out with you. And, of course, we always love being, ha you know, having a uh, badass show to come up to and hang out at in the fall time in Dallas. Deep Ellum, we will see y'all on the 24th. Mm -hmm. And, as always, in all things custom, keep it cool. <laughs>